I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. The latest update in on Wednesday night at 11 o'clock on Dorian shows that Dorian is getting stronger. Maximum sustained winds at 85 miles an hour. We have some wind gusts up to 105 miles an hour. Here's the storm right now north of Puerto Rico. Look how it continues to move up through the Atlantic, not encountering land. It's going to just be feeding on that warm water there in the Atlantic by Thursday becoming a Category 2 storm and then a Category 3 storm once we get into Saturday. Still thinking of a landfall most likely late on Sunday, maybe early on Monday here in Florida, and then losing some strength as it goes into Florida uh, during the day on Monday. And then the big question is, what happens after Florida? Is this going to move into the Gulf and then curve up into Georgia or just move up into Georgia and fall apart? That's the differences that we are seeing in some of the models. Here's a look at the spaghetti plots showing pretty much consistent with the National Hurricane Center uh, forecast track, but then it kind of diverges a little bit with the, the model model's kind of widening out just a little bit. Some of these show it dying out in Georgia while others show it going into the Gulf. We'll keep an eye on that even into next week to see if any of those remnants move our way, increasing our rain chances. Here's a look at the GFS model, the American model, and the Euro model kind of put on top of each other here. What we're looking at is the center circle. And you'll notice that the GFS or the American model moves this a little more to the north, and the European model keeps that more to the south. If that happens, what the Euro is saying, that goes into the Gulf, intensifies, and then it makes a second landfall of, in Florida on the panhandle, whereas the American model shows this kind of dying out in South Georgia. Both of those scenarios could bring us some rain as we get into next week. So we're working really hard to try to fine tune this, but it all depends on what happens um, as that system makes landfall and then where it goes after that. And we hope to be able to fine tune that a little bit more as we go through the next few days. Watch 11 Alive for more updates. We also have updates on 11alive.com and Facebook and Twitter.